Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading. We're gonna be looking at what's going on for you in love. What do you need to know about this person that you're dealing with and where is it all headed next? As always, this is meant to be a general reading for Sagittarius. Uh, keep in mind, not every reading will resonate 100%, so just take what resonates for you and what applies to your situation, but do not force it if it's not your story. I have tons of videos for Sagittarius um, in your playlist, so feel free to check out more videos for your sign there or your other placements. All of my playlists are linked in the description box. So let's jump right in. Spirits, angels, guides, messages for Sagittarius. Regarding love, spirit, what does Sagittarius need to know regarding love? What's going on for Sagittarius in love? Okay, we have pure seduction, lust, temptation, desire, and inner voice. Intuition, guidance, answers. Let your intuition guide you towards the right path. Bottom of the deck balancing act. So this is someone that's trying to determine, you know, I feel like they go back and forth by what their instincts or their desire is, what they're tempted to do. And then their inner voice, you know, their their gut, their instincts, their, their true selves, I guess I should say. And I think they go back and forth. Which one's more important? I am going to clarify both of these to get some insight there. Someone's intuition could be guiding them regarding a situation that maybe they thought they knew or desired. Anything else for Sagittarius? What's going on for Sagittarius in love? We have house. So this one could be a card about home, obviously, but there's so many uh, messages for each of these cards. And honestly, I can't keep them straight because three different people are sharing their interpretations of each card. House, home, property, real estate. But it also represents safety, family, coziness, and security. Stability, security, solid, strong, steady relationship. Hmm. So there's something to do with home. Well, we're going to have to clarify that and see. And Sagittarius, feel free to flip the energies. So um, this could be all of your energy here, or you can flip the roles if they resonate more for you. Um, I am not going to look at the bottom of the deck for this one because while I was shuffling, this card came out and then I kept shuffling. So let's see. I can get some insight here for you, Sagittarius. Using the modern way tarot here. And if you're interested in this deck, it is linked down below along with all of my other decks. Spirit, tell me about pure seduction. Can you tell me about this energy for Sagittarius? Justice, Libra energy. Tell me about pure seduction. Knight of Swords. Truth. The truth. I feel like someone is realizing the truth about, again, a situation that they thought was what they wanted, I feel. Maybe they were attracted to this, seduced by this, tempt tempted for, or had some sort of like envy or temptation for this. And now I feel like someone's getting some serious objectivity. They're looking at something a little more clearly this time. We'll see. Tell me about the inner voice energy. What's this inner voice energy? Wow, the wheel of fortune. And four of wands. Something to do with home here. There's something to do with home. I just split the deck. I have the four of pentacles and the eight of cups not the eight of cups the eight of swords <laughs> um why did i say the eight of cups the cups are nowhere in here 
Eight of Swords, Four of Pentacles. So someone I feel is um, a bit stuck. Uh, Eight of Swords could be mental, like a mentally stuck in a situation, fearful of making a move. Maybe there's something to do with finances, with home here. We'll see. Now the Wheel of Fortune brings change. So I feel like there's some sort of change and opportunity here. Movement with this uh, Four of Wands. I feel like someone's inner voice has has changed the situation. It's like whatever truth this is, I feel like someone maybe um, has feels like they need to address it in a way because they have an opportunity now or they've changed as a person. I hope that makes sense. What's with the fear? Nine of Swords. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to leave it up here. Someone's fearful. There's something here that they're an anxious about. Tell me about house. Tell me about house. Why is house here? Knight of Cups. Why is house here? Why is house here? You tell me about this house energy. The moon. Pisces energy with the moon, bottom of the deck, four of swords. So I feel like there is um interesting. Knight of cups with the moon and then the four of swords. Well, the moon and the four of swords are telling me that something here could be maybe hidden or not expressed. Um, there could be an illusion here. Something that is under the surface that someone can't see clearly. But then I have the knight of cups. The knight of cups tends to be intuitive. So that's... Hmm. There's something off there. <laughs> so let's get to the bottom of this. I'm going to use my little clarifier deck here. Spirits guides. Insight here, please, for Sagittarius regarding this, well, this whole spread. These energies. I feel like if I were to look at this spread, right, and we would just take away the moon and the nine of swords, this would be a great spread. But of course, that's why we need to clarify because sometimes things are not as they seem. All right, let's see. Tell me about justice and the knight of swords. Tell me about justice and the Knight of Swords. Why is justice here? Ten of Cups, reverse. Why is justice here with the Knight of Swords? Temperance, reverse. Well, there you are, Sagittarius. And the Fool, reverse. Yeah. Someone here, I feel, is not happy. Exactly what I was going to say. They're not happy where they're at. Um... I feel like this is something that is like hitting them in the face here. Or this is a truth that they can't ignore. This could be you, Sagittarius, or the person that you are interested in. I feel like someone is just, ups yeah, they're, they're not, they could have even ignored or denied how they truly felt about something. Maybe they were living in denial. Because I almost feel like someone ignoring here the Five of Swords, like not even caring that something wasn't exactly like it should have been now with the full reverse it's almost like i'm getting this person possibly um got themselves into a situation that you know they weren't thinking straight tell me about the full reverse i feel like justice is here to kind of help someone though why is the full reverse The lovers, Gemini energy, and then the two of swords reverse. So this is helping someone make a choice here because they're so unhappy. I feel like someone's being forced to make a decision about this reality that their realization. Yeah, three of wands reverse and then the five of swords reverse. I feel like this was someone that um, possibly they were waiting for things to improve and maybe they were waiting forever. 
Five of Wands reverse the Empress reverse. What's happening? The star. Yeah, there's um there's something happening here. And the thing is, like, I have plenty of uprights here. So I'm just not sure why. I feel like this is your person's energy, but of course it could be you. Maybe you're realizing something about the situation you've been in. That it hasn't been what you thought it was going to be. You're not as happy as you thought you were going to be. What's this choice about? Tell me about the two of swords. Spirit. What's the two of swords about? <laughs> the moon. Okay. <laughs> wow. The world. The bottom of the deck. So this choice is about the illusion, basically. I feel like someone's realizing that, yeah, they need a new start, a fresh start. Yeah, the, it's almost like they're realizing how unhappy they are. Wow, two of cups after that. I knew that my, yeah, my deck is not all reversed, guys. It's just the cards that tend to come out here. So someone, I feel, is making a decision about this moon. The illusion, what was hidden, uh, what someone couldn't see. Can I get one more for this two of swords? Can I get one more? Yeah, the chariot. Someone's making a move into a whole new cycle. Cancer energy there. So why the fear? Why the nine of swords? Unless they're feeling guilty. Why is the nine of swords here? Aha. <laughs> Queen of Swords reverse. I'd be scared of her too. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is the Nine of Swords here? Two of Cups. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Death reverse. Scorpio energy. Queen of Wands, Nine of Cups, the Magician Rivers, Five of Pentacles Rivers. What I'm getting is this Queen of Swords might get in the way of things here. I'm not sure. I don't, I'm not picking up that this could be you. I think this is someone else. And with the Death card Reverse, it's like a delayed ending of resistance to a change or an ending. And I feel it's, in an, it's with a, a partner here. They could even have children. What's this Wheel of Fortune about? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? That Sun Reverse keeps wanting to come out. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? The Wheel of Fortune, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> okay. Can I get some insight, please, Spirit, into this Wheel of Fortune? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Six of Wands. So this Wheel of Fortune is going to help someone be successful. I feel like it's bringing around a successful change for someone. So why is the Knight of Cups here with the Moon? Why is the Knight of Cups here with the Moon? Strength reverse, Leo energy. Why is the Knight of Cups here with the moon? King of Pentacles reverse. Well, I have here the Knight of Swords, Ace of Swords reverse. Both of them are reversed. So I feel like someone was either hiding something without realizing it. And this could be like someone hiding their true feelings or denying their true feelings. Or there's deception here in some way. Maybe this person deceived you. And this is an apology with the Knight of Cups. I feel like they deceived you and they were the ones that were affected by that more than you is what I'm picking up. Because with the King of Pentacles reverse, this person is not doing well. You know, I don't feel like this is someone that's doing well. I have the King of Cups reversed. So right away, 
I could tell you this is not somebody doing well. I feel like with the strength card reverse in the world, for some reason, this offer, this Knight of Cups is, is almost like there's hope tied to a new beginning here with the world. Tell me about the world. Why is the world here? Why is the world here? Six of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. Can I get one more? Why is the world here? <laughs> the Tower. Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Page of Wands. So I feel like a tower is needed in... You had a reading recently with a tower. The tower was very important. It was something crazy. I think I even put the word crazy in the title. <laughs> so check that out. I feel like this is similar energy here. Uh, this is someone that the tower or a tower is going to fall or needs to fall in order to restore balance here, in order to address this 10 of wands and open up this cycle. So let's see what else we need to know about this person. Spirit, tell me more about this person that Sagittarius is dealing with. What do we need to know? How about this other person? What do we need to know, Spirit, about this other person? There's the world with the Empress. What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know? Queen of Wands, what do we need to know about this other person? Knight of Cups, Queen of Wands. I feel like you're this Queen of Wands, Sagittarius, and this person I feel is bringing a, a cup of possibly an apology. Queen of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Ace of Wands, Virgo energy. I feel like there's somebody else here. It's almost like this person is already in, like tied up somewhere. Why the Knight of Cups? Why the Knight of Cups? Nine of Pentacles. Why the Knight of Cups? Why the Knight of Cups? The Sun. So whereas the Sun's reverse, yeah, Ace of Swords. This is someone who I feel this is more about expressing themselves, I think, here. In an honest way with the Ace of Swords. I feel like whereas before in the other spreads, the sun came out multiple times reversed. Here it's coming up upright, almost as if to say, you are my happiness. Not what the other, not the other situation, but this. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. Can you tell me about this Ace of Swords? Six of Swords. Bottom of the deck, the Fool. Yeah, this is um about headed towards a new cycle. I feel like they want to talk to you about that. There's judgment. They want to talk about the past, the Hierophant, Taurus energy, and the Six of Pentacles again. So I feel like this is someone that is headed towards a new cycle, but you're involved in some way because they want to make things right with you. With the Judgment card, I feel like this is this energy over here where they were realizing something about the past here. So don't be surprised if this person 
approaches you with a message. So let's see, where's all of this headed next? Now your, the extended is going to be all about this person. So if you want to know more about this person, their intentions, their next actions, thoughts or feelings, then check that out. Tell me more about what's going to happen next in this connection for Sagittarius. What's next? What's next for, for Sagittarius? What's next for this connection? Nine of Wands, Four of Wands. This Four of Wands showed up twice. So I think this house card, I'm gonna clarify it again. Judgment, okay, yeah. Someone I feel could be giving you a call, literally, or there's some sort of judgment, that ju judgment call that someone's making. Bottom of the deck, the Five of Wands and the Three of Swords. So drama, which makes sense because if this is a continuation of the previous reading that I did that was absolutely nuts, <laughs> then this would make sense. I don't think this is going to be an easy situation. Um, fights, drama, conflict, an uproar, you know, <laughs> I see it all. Tell me about this Four of Wands. What's with this Four of Wands? Feel something's important here with this Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here? Ten of Cups. Why is this Four of Wands here? Knight of Pentacles. Why is this Four of Wands here? Five of Cups. Something still doesn't seem right. Unless this person's like, I want a home with you. But if that's the case, if they want a home with you and they want a happy ending with you, then why the Five of Cups? Why is the Five of Cups here? Again, with the communication, why is the Five of Cups here? Yeah, Page of Swords. Someone's going to talk to you about some sort of loss, disappointment here, something to do with the past. I feel like they want to make you an offer, but why the Ten of Cups? Why is this throwing me off so much? Why is the Ten of Cups here? Like, I want to be able to say, oh, this is just, you know, them wanting... Realizing that you are their happiness, right? That they want a happy ending with you. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Seven of Wands. Why is the, te the Ten of Cups here? Why is the Ten of Cups here? Ten of Pentacles. Queen of Wands, the Tower, yeah. Something is happening. I think the tower is happening regarding someone's home life. And it's going to allow them to make you an offer. But I feel like there's going to be battles here. Where there may be even a family unit. Mother-in-law, father-in-law. I feel like there's multiple people involved. I feel like they're going to tell you about this. Because it's necessary to tell you about this. If that's resonating for you let me know down in the comments because i feel like someone's home life is very important to what's going on between you and them tell me about the nine of wands like this is someone beat up tired guarded yep tell me about the nine of wands this person could have financial losses or needing to save their money needing to be frugal yeah the tower Page of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. Yeah, this person's worried about money, I feel, and worried about the tower, the implications of this tower. King of Wands, the Moon, and the Page of Wands. But once again, I feel like they need almost like confirmation from you that this isn't a complete 
crazy decision on their part. Tell me about judgment. Six of cups. Yeah, this is the second chance with the past, I feel. Um, this is somebody probably that you already separated from or you had some sort of connection with in the past. Or this could be somebody that has recently met you and realized that you are their soulmate. I mean, either or I could see it. Tell me about judgment. Maybe you had a past life connection with this person. Again with the moon and then the eight of swords with the ace of swords. So something needs to be addressed. Something needs to be addressed. Maybe this person secretly pined for you or has some sort of secret or told you something that they shouldn't have told you or I don't know what's up. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the message is the message. Seven of Swords. See what I'm saying? There's something off here that someone needs to address. It's like they need to tell you the truth about something. It's probably tied to the past. Yeah, they walked away from this connection in the past or they're walking away towards you here. The Hermit Virgo energy. So what I'm getting is like it's someone that that's the inner voice. Someone's intuition I feel has guided them up to this to this crazy decision because I feel like there's no other way to really explain what's happening here with this person Sagittarius. Um, there, There's a tower coming. The tower showed up twice and it showed up before in another reading. So I feel like this is connected. There's a tower that's going to happen in someone's home or, or someone's stability is going to be shaken. Um, and they're going to address something. I feel like this is a confession with the moon and the ace of swords that keep coming up. King of swords with a page of swords and the five of cups. It's like someone needs to tell the truth. I mean, look at this energy. Someone needs to tell the truth because I feel that for a long time, they kind of either kept this to themselves or didn't tell the truth about something. This could even be self-deception that someone had, you know. And I feel like there's going to be a big blow up. <laughs> I just, I feel like there's going to be a big blow up. And, it's, you know, it, this person's not going to get off scot-free. They're going to have a loss of some sort. This could be money. This could be losing their home where they live. Um, losing face, I heard. <laughs> so it's not going to be just rainbows and butterflies in the future, but in terms of what's happening next, I do feel this person's coming to you with some sort of an offer. Slowly, but it's coming. And definitely a communication is big here. I feel like someone's going to talk to you about this whole situation, or at least about the truth of something that you need to know. Um, can I get some insight into the King of Swords, Page of Swords, Ace of Swords? Can I get some insight, please, for Sagittarius? Uh, for Sagittarius spirit. Tell me about the King of Swords, Page of Swords, Ace of Swords. What do we need to know about this energy? The Fool. What do we need to know about the Ace of Swords, Page of Swords, King of Swords? What do we need to know about these energies? What do we need to know about these energies? Nine of Swords. Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck and the Page of Cups. So someone quite literally I feel is fearful of this risk. This is a risk for them to talk to you to tell you the truth because they don't know how you're going to take it. Hmm. Can I get one more? For the King of Swords, Page of Swords, Ace of Swords. Can I get one more? I'm also getting like they're going to. Three of Swords. Okay, can I get one more for this fool? Strength. Again with courage. So this person needs courage to tell you this. Because I feel like someone's going to be hurt at the end of it. Spirit does not want to tell me what exactly what this is about. <laughs> I keep clarifying and I, they're not giving it to me. So it's for a reason. I don't think this is something that you're meant to know ahead of time. And I think this is something that your person needs to tell you themselves. 
I think that it's going to be heartbreaking um, in a way or disappointing because maybe you weren't expecting this truth from this person. But it, it was nerve wracking for them to tell you this. They might even it might even just be that they want a new beginning here or they want to take a leap of faith in this connection with you or it could be something more serious than that. It's with this tower, basically. It's going to be a big, shocking thing. All right, so I'm going to leave it there, Sagittarius, because this reading is already like half an hour long. I hope this resonated for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe so you can see more readings from me. Let me know down in the comments if this resonated for you or you just want to say hi. I'd love to hear from you. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.